So if you don't know by the title already, we're going to try to break an iPod. Hey, what's up, guys? So I get comments in my videos all the time. Okay, maybe not my YouTube videos yet, but my TikTok videos. Yeah, TikTok. I don't know. I get comments all the time when I post a magnet fishing video like you should put that next to your mobile device or that would suck to get it next to your airpod case and a dark individual told me i should stick it next to someone's pacemaker we're not going to do that last one but we are going to try to mess with this really old ipod touch and see what effects that my 1200 pound magnet will have on it if any i don't know we're going to find out together but first i need to go find a charging cable for this iPod Touch because I don't have a 32 pin connector charging cable anymore and I don't even have an iPhone anymore so I need to go find one of those and make sure this thing still turns on and then we can try to mess with it so I'll be right back as soon as I find a cable alright this is the moment of truth see if this charger will work da, 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 da. oh yes alright so uh, this is probably going to take a minute to charge, so I'll be right back as soon as it's charged up a little bit, and that way we can see what effect, if any, the magnet will have on the display or just the device as a whole. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought before we mess with... Uh, move my valuable electronics. Before we mess with the iPod, we should see maybe what this does with a carrot, because a carrot, uh, you know, they say the amount of force to bite a carrot in half is the amount of force that you need to bite a finger in half. So I thought maybe we would try to take this magnet and see what happens to the carrot. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can already feel it pulling. <laughs> Did you hear that crunch? Let me see if I can get this off. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get that off off camera, but you can see here that uh, that did not go well for the carrot. So if that was your finger and you got it under there, mm, it's not going to be a good day for you. So that was just, you know, demonstrating uh, the power of the magnet. So let's get into the iPod. Okay, so we got it turned on and it does still make noises. So, we're going to put it maybe on the home screen and start getting this. Now, I'm going to hold it down just so it doesn't pick anything up, and we're going to see if it... Oh, it's attracting it for sure. So far, nothing funky's happening with the screen. Okay, let's turn it up. What just happened? That magnetic actually. Oh. Uh oh. Something happened. Um, yeah, so it's doing that. <laughs> uh, seems not good. Oh. Oh. It came back on. It came back on. Okay, so maybe from the screen. that it did not like that let me try plugging this back in I think we killed it yeah I think we killed it for a second there I didn't actually think we were gonna kill it try holding the power button all right, so uh, that happened really quickly. <laughs> um, so I have an old Fitbit, and we can try to uh, put the magnet on that too real quick as a little bonus. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so let's try my old Fitbit. 
see here, it, uh, we'll turn it this way. It still turns on. I don't think that's the right time. It's definitely not the right day. So let's see what happens. It's just... I'll up in that there. Hey. It still turns on. Try to get it from behind, maybe. Hmm. This magnet seems to have no effect on the Fitbit. So that's interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this little kind of experiment video, um, you should click the like button below. You should click that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you get notified anytime I post a video. And if you did enjoy this video, you should write me a comment below, maybe something else you want me to try putting a magnet next to. Now go easy on me because I'm not like a famous YouTuber, so like I can't just go buy an iPad Air or like a brand new MacBook, okay? Like <laughs> keep it maybe kind of reasonable, an alarm clock or something that I might actually be able to buy, okay? But if it's reasonable and I can get it, I will get it and I will try it if that's what you want me to do. So you should let me know down below. And uh, I got a pizza that I need to put in the oven and eat. So I will catch you guys next time. Peace.